So it is episode number five of the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise mode here on Madden 22. We just finished week number four against the New York Jets in a game that we won 13 to six. Shout out to Alex Highsmith with the game winning interception for a touchdown. And we're gonna have a quarterback check-in as we go into week five. I'm assuming we're gonna be talking to Kenny Pickett here. Pickett says, as I'll get rid of my face cam, really proud of how we came out and got the job done in that one. Everybody chipped, chipped in and we came away with a, with a nice win. Um, and then Tomlin says, let's keep it up. Okay, that's cool. Everyone got XP, everyone's happy. We're moving on to the next game, of course, on the road at Orchard Park against the Buffalo Bills. Little bit scared about this one because the Bills are a really good football team, obviously. They've got Josh Allen, who's one of the better quarterbacks in football, maybe if not the best quarterback in football. And then, oh yeah, who are we taking on after the Bills? Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So there's that. Before we get into the forecast, heavy rain or whatnot, Go to look at renegotiating with some players. And now, obviously, Deontay Johnson has expressed zero interest in resigning with this team. But seeming seemingly looking at your guys' input in the comment section down below, you want me just to go in and edit Deontay Johnson's contract. And same can be said about Chris Boswell, because both those guys in the offseason resigned with the Pittsburgh Steelers. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go edit Deontay Johnson and Chris Boswell's contract. So I'll go into Deontay's um, player card. He's at 85 overall. He's going down because of the morale. I mean, I'll make him the captain if that makes him ha happy. I, I know it doesn't, but we're gonna go in, we're gonna edit Deontay Johnson. Maybe I'll boost his speed a little bit, make him make, maybe make him like a 95 overall. I'm just kidding, I won't. Um, but so, okay, so I can just change his contract length and what contract year he's on. So I'm just gonna say he's in the second year of his contract. And if we go on to Google, we can check, um, you know, how much he's gonna be making his contract extension. So let's go check and, uh, okay, that's not what I wanted, okay. Disregard that, um, Deontay Johnson, we're gonna go to ESPN. Um, so he reached a two year agreement with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, he's up to 39, $39.5 million if he reaches incentives, but it'll be 18, we'll just go 18 and a half million dollars per year. So Deontay got paid, let's be honest with ourselves. He got paid, so if we go back to here, I mean, we'll just say he's on the second year of his contract and his total salary um, per year is gonna be $18 million, which is a lot. But for a guy like Deontay Johnson, I guess it's worth it. I mean, we're hoping he can, okay, 18.3 million dollars. Hope, we're hoping he can, you know, really be a stud for the squad alongside Kenny Pickett. So. 18.33, I think, is what it's going to come out to. I'm not really not going to mess too much with the bonus because I'm just not going to. Um, then Chris Boswell, uh, we'll look at what he's going to be making. So he got okay. So he got a four-year extension. Okay, so we can really just okay. So he's getting four years, five million per year. Okay, so that's pretty simple. So we're going to go here and now edit Chris Boswell's contract. He's all right. I'm not going to lie. I wish he was a little bit better. I think Boswell deserves a little bit more than an 82 overall, just considering how if Tucker's in 99, I think Boswell should be at least like an 86. I just think this is kind of ridiculous, but we'll just say he's on the second year of his contract. Total salary will be $20 million. Oh, wait, so for Deontay, I have to make it $36 million. Okay, I'll do that off camera, but I'll change Deontay Johnson's contract so it's $30 million or $36 million per the two years. Um, so he's going to be make, making that every single season. So we don't you know, mess up the actual contracts that these guys are going to be making. So I'll fix that off camera. We're, we're going to keep the flow going on this one. Um, but folks, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below for some more Madden 23 here on the channel. Of course, doing the Steelers franchise every single day. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure you leave a like if you are enjoying the series so far. Make sure to join the Greedo Plays Discord server. So go join that if you want to join um, the 32 team online franchise that we're going to be doing here on Madden 23. First link down in the description down below. So that really does it for our re-signings here. Um, and then we'll look at the other guys later as the season progresses. Uh, we can upgrade our players here. The Bills are one in three. Wow, okay, so we have a better record than the Bills right now. I'm pretty happy with that. Kenny Pickett's now 70 overall, which is a W. And now we're gonna look at the forecast heavy rain here in Buffalo, New York. Let's see it. Um, let's go to the cutscene here. So Kenny Pickett says, it looks like it's gonna be raining for the entire game this week and probably won't take long for the conditions to get pretty sloppy. You wanna pass the ball or run the ball? Well, you know, you know what we do, we run the football. So I don't care with the slick football and rough footing, it'll be hard to establish a good rhythm in the passing game. So practice your handoffs because we're gonna be doing a lot of it in this week or of it this week. That's all we do. So beat the Bills and rack up 150 rushing yards. I don't think that's gonna be all that tough because that's really what we do every single game anyway. We don't really allow Kenny Pickett, Pickett to throw the ball that much. It's fine. I'm gonna feel pretty good about this game, honestly, if we can consistently run the football. You look at the AFC North standings. The Bengals are in first place at 4-0, then everyone after them are 2-2. Two two. Somehow, someway, Marcus Mariota leads the NFL in passing yards. How that is happening, 
I couldn't tell you. So let's get into this one, folks. Steelers and Bills. Can the Steelers go to three and two and force the Bills to go down to one and four? We're going to find out in just a few moments. A huge game for the Steelers, though, before coming back home next week and taking on Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. So we're going to turn off the camera, lock in, folks. Let's get it going. Week five action in Buffalo, New York. So it has been a 2-0 start for Kenny Pickett so far in his professional career with the Pittsburgh Steelers, picking up victories against both the Cleveland Browns and the New York Jets. Tonight here in Buffalo, he is tasked with by far his toughest challenge in Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. And considering the rainy conditions we have tonight here in New York, this is going to be a tough game, man. I mean, Pickett, he doesn't throw the football all that much in the first place, but still we have to manage with these conditions here in upstate New York for the Bills and the Pittsburgh Steelers and somehow some way the Steelers do have a better record right now than the AFC favorites in Buffalo Pittsburgh comes in this game at two and two and the Bills are one and three so we've got a good one here tonight Josh Allen versus Kenny Pickett for the first time can the Steelers get the offense going early and can the defense you know stop this tremendous offense of Josh Allen you got Devin Singletary out the backfield of course always got to watch out for the two star receivers for Buffalo as well and of course Gabriel Davis and Stefan Diggs let's get into it folks Bills and Steelers Steelers. Of course, next week for Pittsburgh will be a contest between them and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They go on the road for back-to-back -back matchups. You got Sunday night football appearance against the Miami Dolphins and then a Sunday afternoon ball game against the Philadelphia Eagles all before the bye week in week nine. Let's get it going though. Starting off with the football will be Josh Allen, one of the best quarterbacks in football today. Has started the season with 900 yards, five touchdowns with two INTs. The Bills have got it from their own 25-yard line, second and eight for Josh Allen. Looking to his right and he will find his receiver it'll be enough for the first down it is Jamison Crowder Crowder for a pickup of 14 through the air first and 10 now for Buffalo Allen again looking to throw scrambling to his right at least the pressure is getting to him early but he's gonna dump it off to Devin Singletary and Singletary's got it all the way down to the Pittsburgh 42 yard line but at least again that pressure is somewhat getting to Josh Allen first and 10 Allen in the gun looking to his right there you go he's dropped by Hayward and TJ Watt Second and 19 now for Buffalo, making a third and 16. Allen out the gun from the 48-yard line, looking to his right. He will get it to Singletary, but Singletary is only going to get one yard. So Pittsburgh will take over after the Buffalo punt, and out comes Kenny Pickett. 249 yards so far this season, one touchdown, two interceptions. And you know what the Steelers are going to do a lot. They're going to run the football, but first we'll go play action. We pull it early. Going deep shot, Deontay Johnson. It's incomplete. I mean, it was worth the shot, right? Trying to catch him off guard. Second and 10, now we go to the run. Here comes Najee Harris. It's been in the game plan all week that the Steelers will run the football in these conditions. It's a third and three. Play action fake again for Pickett. We've thrown it more than we've ran it. And oh my goodness, you got to get that ball, Deontay Johnson. That's a first down a lot more, but Pickett just misses him. Buffalo gets it back. First and 10, deep shot. Oh, what are you doing, Josh Allen? Sutton one-on-one -on -one with Devin Singletary, and it's picked off for the Steelers. Pittsburgh's going to take over from the 35-yard line. A rare mistake by Josh Allen, trusting his running back in Devin Singletary to go up one-on-one -on -one against a corner like that. And what a ball by Kenny Pickett, getting it to NFL young boy George Pickens. First down to the 41-yard line, second and eight now for the Steelers. Pickett looking to throw. He's got Chase Claypool, and the physical receiver should pick up the first down to the 30-yard line. He's got it, first and 10 for Pittsburgh. Working the ball down the field, Pickett looking to throw to his right, Pat Fryermuth. What a grab by Fryer Ruth getting us down to the 18-yard line. Second and 10 for Kenny. Looking to throw. Step it up. And, oh, he's going to lose the football. Pickett is sacked and he drops it. And Buffalo takes over from the 20-yard line. Matt Milano picks it up. I mean, I feel like Madden gave Pickett a horrible carrying rating just because of the thing with his damn hand size. But it's just, it's dumb. And speaking of dumb, Josh Allen, what are we doing? Another deep shot. Going for Gabriel Davis. This time it's picked off by Witherspoon. And the Steelers take over again. So we get the football right back from the 44-yard line. Already two interceptions on the day for the Steelers' defense. And Kenny Pickett's going to scramble for a big gain of 10. Picking up a first down as we go into the second quarter. Still scoreless at 0-0. Zero to zero. But here come the Steelers driving down the field. So a huge third and eight to kick off the quarter from the 44-yard line. Pickett looking to throw. He'll step up again. Pickett's going to scramble. And another first down for the Steelers. 
down to the 34 yard line kenny pickett's got him first and 10 up the empty gun pickett looking to throw he's got slants both ways and he'll find Najee harris harris lined up as a receiver right there will pick up a gain of 14 and the steelers are now back in the red zone for a second and four kenny play action fake looking to throw to his right pickett is going to be sacked by rousseau at the 23 yard line it will be a third and 13 for pittsburgh Pick it out the gun, looking to throw around the edge. Watch out, Vaughn Miller's gonna punch it out. Back to back fumbles for Kenny Pickett on back to back drives. It's the fumbles out of Pickett and it's the interceptions out of Allen. Both of them have two apiece as we now go back to the Bills with the football. What is going on, Josh Allen? It's gonna be incomplete, but the man just chucked it 50 yards across the field. It'll be a third and 11. Allen looking to throw. He's in the pocket. He's got all day long. Now running back 10 yards for some reason, and he'll dump it off to Devin Singletary. And okay, we're going to tackle him at the 39-yard line. The Steelers will get the football back. Again, no scoring so far, and we are four minutes into the second quarter. Second nine for Pickett. Yeah. Gotta find a way to block Vaughn Miller. Miller's going to make it a third and 20 now from our own 18-yard line. Pickett might air it out. Instead, he'll run, and yeah, there's not much green grass ahead of him. Kenny will pick up seven yards, and the Bills get the football back from their own 32-yard line. Watch out, Josh Allen! Devin Bush unblocked! Bush gonna take down Allen. It'll now be a third and 18 for the Buffalo Bills from their own 23-yard line. Allen all day in the pocket, looking to his left. Now TJ Watts coming after him, and Josh Allen throws the football away. So this is the Steelers defense we've been waiting for, man. They're getting to Josh Allen early and often. And look at the offense. Najee Harris is going to get down to the 41-yard line, making it a fourth and one. Pittsburgh's going to leave the offense on the field. Pick it from under center. Hand off Najee. Oh, it's blown up. It is completely blown up. I mean, we've got a defensive struggle here in week number five. The Bills get the football back from their own 44. There's Stephon Diggs, his first catch of the ball game. is all the way down to the Pittsburgh 41-yard line. First and 10 now for Allen. Out the gun. Halfback draw going to Devin Singletary. Look at the juke. Singletary staying on his feet. Megan Fitzpatrick can't get to him. No one can get to him. Witherspoon is last hope. Devin Singletary. On the halfback draw gets the scoring started here in week five. It is seven to nothing now, Bills, off of that big run by Devin Singletary. So now the Steelers get to run the two-minute offense. Oh, my, Von Miller. His third sack of the day almost took Kenny Pickett's head off. It's a third and 16 now for Kenny, looking to dump it off to Najee Harris. We're going nowhere. And now the Bills call him the timeout. They will get the football back from the 48-yard line. Second and 10, Allen looking to throw. Hayward trying to get off a block. He'll lob one up. Sutton looking for pick number two. He's got it. I don't know what's up with Josh Allen throwing that contested deep ball, but it's his third interception now given the Steelers haven't scored any points off of it. But we get the football back from the 35-yard line with 43 seconds to go. So, I mean, it's a huge spot right here. Third and 11 from the 34-yard line. Pick it looking. What? Okay. So, Tredavious White will pick that one off. Pickett was looking for Pat Fryermuth. He overthrows him, and then Tredavious White makes a diving play to get to the football. So now Buffalo's got it back from the 44-yard line with 20 seconds to go. Allen, what a dime! Jamison Crowder with maybe an even better catch. Down the 24-yard line, second six for Allen. Looking to at least go up by 10, and he's just going to throw one out the back of the end zone. So at third and six, 10 seconds to go. Allen looking. He's going to run back. The pressure's getting to him. Bad throw! Minka Fitzpatrick takes one away! Going for Stephon Diggs. Minka Fitzpatrick on the pick. Allen's got four in the first half, and the Steelers have zero points. <laughs> I don't know what to say. We got to do something. It's 7 nothing Bills, and we've got four interceptions. Okay, so we start the football. Here you go. Second and 11, Kenny Pickett stepping up. Oh, my goodness. He'll lose two yards, a third and 13. Can we get Pickett some offensive line help? That would be nice. Uh, here we go. Kenny can let one fly. Chase Claypool. Oh, and a grab. Chase Claypool, the gain at 20, and of course, our best lineman gets hurt. James Daniels is out. Perfect. Third and four from the 44-yard line. Pickett looking. He's got Najee Harris at the backfield. Don't look now, but the Steelers are now over midfield, down to the 48-yard line. So the thing is now, is will we commit a turnover? Because it's happened twice already. Pickett, no time for the football, man. Von Miller's all over it. It's a jailbreak screen, and Kenny's going to miss Chase Claypool. So the Bills get it back from the 31-yard line. There goes Josh Allen to his right, to Stephon Diggs, and oh! Stephon Diggs just tells Terrell Edmonds, yeah, get off me. 
A second and three now for Buffalo. Hand off Devin Singletary to the outside. He'll truck Witherspoon and he'll be brought down by Warmly at the 48 yard line. Nine carries for 65 yards so far in this ball game for Singletary. Most of those yards, of course, though, coming from the touchdown. Second and 10 for Allen. Looking, where are you going? Another bad ball by Josh Allen. It's our fifth interception. Witherspoon's got it for his second in the game. Two for Witherspoon, two for Sutton, and one for Minka Fitzpatrick. So the Steelers have the ball back again. Can we finally put some points on the board? I haven't shown you much running with Najee Harris because that's been his best run all day. 16 carries, 40 yards. Again, what, 14 of them came with that one run? First and 10 for Pickett. Looking at the backfield, there goes Najee Harris. And now look at us again. We are within the red zone at the 18-yard line. Game on. First and 10, halfback drop, Pickett. Gives it to Najee Harris up the middle. Harris gonna pick up yardage right there. He'll get down to the 13-yard line, making it now a second and five. Pickett from out the gun, stepping up in the pocket. He'll run, Kenny Pickett, down to the six. This is now usually the time when we fumble the football. First and goal, give it to Najee Harris. Protect the ball and get it, Najee. Oh, he's gonna be down to the one. Big second and goal, pick it on the handoff. Oh my goodness, Harris going nowhere. Stuffed in the backfield. It's a third and goal from the three. Kenny's looking to throw. He's got slants from all three receivers and he's going nowhere to go backwards. Vaughn Miller chases him down to the 18 yard line and we're forced to bring out Chris Boswell for a 35 yard field goal, which he will hit but it is seven to three going into the fourth quarter. The Bills have thrown five interceptions so far, but still have a four point lead going into the fourth quarter. So here come the Bills. Second and two for Josh Allen from his own 33 yard line. Play action fake, keeping the football. Allen stands like a statue in the pocket. Come on, pick number six. Oh, I thought the ball was caught by Gabriel Davis. It's incomplete, now a third and two. Allen gonna go play action fake, rolling to his right. We're all over. Terrell Edmonds all day long. Pittsburgh's gonna get the football back. The defense have shown up here tonight. Can the offense pay him back right here? Chase Claypool on a drag will pick up the first down, down to the 49 yard line. First and 10 for Pickett, play action fake. Looking to throw over the middle, NFL young boy, he misses him. Completely misses Pickens, does Kenny Pickett. It's picked off by Jordan Poyer. The Bills get the football back from the 48 yard line. The defense needs a stop. Third and inches over the middle. First down, Jameson Crowder. He's still on his feet. Sutton brings him down at the 18-yard line. But a huge play for Buffalo because now they are officially into Tyler Bass's range. Even with the wind and all these conditions, it should be a chip shot fuel for Bass. It's not going to matter. Devin Singletary's got touchdown number two. And the Buffalo Bills have just gone up by 11. 14 to three with five minutes and 37 seconds left to go. It just seems like a real tough order here for the Pittsburgh Steers. We're gonna have to go quick and a gain of 19 right there for Pickett to Claypool. Sure will help, second and 10. Pickett looking to run to the outside. Just get away from Jadavius White. Okay, he'll, okay, he'll shrug off a tackle. Pickett gets him down to the 49 yard line, third and three on the slant route. Quick one going to Deontay Johnson. We've got it. Johnson down to the 36 yard line. It will now be a first and 10 for Pickett in the offense. Dropping back, Kenny looking to Pat Fryer Muth. Fryer Muth has got it down to the 20 yard line, back in the red zone again. Here comes another second and 10. Pickett looking to throw. He's got Fryer Muth. We are now down to about the eight, gain of 12. First and goal for Pickett. Dropping back, looking to throw. Now he's gonna take off and Kenny Pickett's in. Only took them about two minutes to drive right down the field and score their first touchdown of the ball game. Pickett does a backflip and all. And it's a five point game. We'll go for two to try to cut it to three. Pickett dropping back on for Fryer Muth picked off. Poyer's got it. We just got to find a way to stop him from getting two points. Okay. Can he pick it? Okay, he's gonna make the tackle. Nice. Okay, so we need to stop. The Bills get the football back now with three minutes to go. Second and nine from the 26 yard line. Hand off Devin Singletary. We are all over it. Huge third down. Can we save some time and some timeouts? Third and eight, Allen looking to throw. He's got time now looking to his left, going for the deep shot. No, Miles Jack's there, no! Miles Jack couldn't tackle Devin Singletary. They always break the first tackle on all Madden. It is ridiculous. Now here comes the backup running back in Cook. He'll pick up six yards, second and four for Allen. Hand off to Singletary to the outside, first down. Kind of ball game. I mean, we get the football back with 20 seconds if we can get some stops. Trell Edmonds will make a tackle at the 48, so second and nine out for the Bills. Allen handoff. Oh, Minka's all over it, but here you go. I mean, the time's ticking now. Down to a minute five, third and ten for Allen. They'll throw the football to screen, and we are over it. Okay, so we can get the football back with 21 seconds. No timeouts, down by five in need of a touchdown. First and 10 for Josh Allen from his own 30 yard line. Taking a shot downfield, Chase Claypool. 
incomplete. Second and 10 now for the Steelers. The Bills will only send three. Pick it to his left to Deontay Johnson. It's incomplete as well. 14 seconds left to go. It will be a third and 10 from the 30 yard line. And pick it looking to his right. Chase Claypool, okay. Goes Tredavious White's way. He'll get out of bounds, but it's a fourth and two at 10 seconds. From the 38, pick it looking to throw a quick out route to George Pickens. Pickens is apparently out of bounds. Okay. So six seconds to go from the 45. Pickett looking on a quick out again. He's got NFL young boy again. Down to the 49. Two seconds. Here comes the Hail Mary. I brought in Mitchell Trubisky just because he's got more throw power. Just for this one play. Mitch Trubisky against his former team. The 49-yard Hail Mary attempt. Deep in the end zone. It is incomplete, but there's a flag on the play. Roughing the passer. Oh, pass interference. Oh, my goodness. Pittsburgh's got it from the one. Thank you, Jordan Poyer. Here comes Kenny Pickett from the one yard line. I mean, you got the quarterback sneak. Pickett, look it. Oh my goodness. Oh, no way. The Pittsburgh Steelers beat the Buffalo Bills. 15 to 14 on a pass interference on a Hail Mary in which Mitchell Trubisky threw. And the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to walk out of Orchard Park with the victory. Who would have thought? I mean, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like, we should not have been in this spot anyway. We should have won this game handily. If the offense could have shown up, I mean, hell, we had five interceptions on defense. But somehow, some way, it goes to the very last play. It, it took for an untimed last down of this game on first and goal from the one-yard line. And Kenny Pickett remains undefeated as the professional quarterback here in the National Football League. He is 3-0. He's taken down Jacoby Brissett, Zach Wilson, and Josh Allen in back-to-back-to-back -back weeks. And next week, Kenny Pickett will look to make it 4-0 against the GOAT, Tom Brady, back in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But the Steelers are victorious here in week number five. They'll send the Bills down to one and four. The Steelers are three and two with just the most insane and incredible of victories. But Pittsburgh, again, stays on their winning ways. You keep riding the Kenny Pickett train. We only scored 15 points, but that's all that we needed. Pickett threw two interceptions. He fumbled twice. But again, it doesn't matter. The Steelers are victorious, and they're now three and two. Going into week number six, against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So folks, thank you all for watching episode number five of the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise mode here on Madden 23. If you have not yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure to leave a like if you are enjoying the series. Go join the Discord and go follow us on the socials as well. Again, folks, thank you all for watching. And Mamba forever. What a damn game.